are carbon fiber road bikes actually any good? Well, I feel like this should partially answer your question. If you haven't seen the video where I built this bike up, definitely go see it. But this is my 2022-ish um, Trek Amanda SLR. Now, yes, it is the last generation frame, but I wanted a rim brake road bike for a laundry list of reasons. And this is what I built, and I love it. Couldn't be happier. We're very happy together. But is a carbon fiber road bike any good? Now, I made a video about this where this carbon fiber um, Trek Madone um, SL7 fell off of a minivan and got hit by a minivan, I believe. And that was pretty crazy. And I wanted to show it to you guys because just for somewhat the shock factor. But, you know, a lot of people are commenting things like, you know, yeah, you know, carbon fiber is good if you're not a retard or like you actually know how to, you know, treat carbon fiber. And that's kind of exactly what I said in the video because carbon fiber is a really, it's interesting because it's construction, like I've said, on mountain bikes, it's actually designed to be very strong. On a lot of gravel bikes, although I don't really know when those people will buy one of those, um, it's designed to be very strong. On a road bike like this, this carbon fiber, if you crash this, um, it would not go well. I mean, think about if you crash, like, what's what's a new car that came out now? So, Ferrari 296 or McLaren 750S. If you crash one of those cars, it's going to be very fragile. It's going to be very brittle. Now, of course, there's that. But what I was saying was, if you're a new rider and you don't have a lot of experience clipping in, you don't have, um, you haven't really done any miles, I honestly don't really think you would appreciate a lot of the benefits of a carbon fiber bike and it would be more of like a negative thing to you because it's something that you're going to feel like you have to worry about because you already have to worry about learning a lot of new things road biking and then you're also worried about man my frame is pretty you know brittle like if you bought a frame like this you might have to worry about that now keep in mind there are some carbon fiber frames like my last um, truck amanda the truck amanda sl it's a thicker layup so it's going to be a little bit stronger than an slr because it uses um, 500 and 700 series um, OCLV, uh, which just means optimal compaction low void. It's just like any other carbon fiber. But what they mean by that is that there's a little bit more substance laid up in that carbon fiber, so it's going to be a little bit stronger. It's nice to not have to worry about that as much. Now, keep in mind with this too, 9 out of 10, at least I don't think I've seen any new alloy road bikes that have um, an aluminum fork anymore. Most of them actually come with a carbon fiber fork and many of them actually come with a carbon fiber steer. So if if you're not doing the work yourself quite yet, um, I actually have um, some videos of dropping the steer out, things like that, things to that degree. If you want to see more of that, leave a comment. But if you have your mechanic or technician do it, um, you know, just make sure they're doing it to the correct torque, torque spec, because that's really important for safety, especially if you have a carbon fiber steer. But that you don't have to worry about as well because the things that are in the line of fire if your bike falls over are alloy handlebars or carbon bars too, just any handlebar in general. And then also your seat and seat post. So that's why a lot of people actually recommend you go with a um, alloy seat post and alloy bars. This bike, I don't have a choice. A lot of Trex carbon road bikes you actually don't have this choice. There's a seat mast or they have some sort of integrated seat post that's carbon fiber but uh, a lot of alloy frames you can choose to have a carbon fiber seat post or you cannot have one and and this is where the interesting part is i would say you know first i said if you're a beginner no experience road cycling i think it'd be a little bit less stressful for you to have a car, uh, an aluminum frame and start out with that and also just because if you don't love the sport and you're just going to use it to commute or something you don't need it all the top of the line performance and a lot of times alloy is very very similar in how much it weighs you get, get some nice wheels on there instead that actually might be a better choice for you and it's very stiff but no matter what your skill level is or experience level or say you know you do get a carbon fiber road bike and you see, like you're getting it back into cycling you have a lot of experience from before or um, you've had a lower end road bike whether whatever material aluminum uh, titanium um, steel uh, carbon, you know, even something that's a bit older and you get a new one. I would just say I don't necessarily think carbon bars are, are worth it. And I can make a whole video on that if you guys want to see that. But it's because a mountain bike 
carbon bar. You see a lot of downhill mountain bikes with carbon bars, but they're straight. They're, they stay in one position. This, we're asking the bar to bend and go in all kinds of different odd shapes. So if that hits the ground, I mean, that's, that's really bad. And then something that's even worse is most of the time people don't really bother fixing those. So you can't recycle them. It's just basically carbon fiber, you know, it's cool. It's on uh, Formula One cars and, you know, uh, Alfa Romeo 4C and every McLaren you can think of, but it's not a recyclable material. And yes, it's, it's very cool, but it's not great for that. I mean, ride quality is something that is a benefit of it. Some people say that um, carbon bars offer better ride quality, but weight wise, they're so similar. It might be 50 grams off. Like go look at your favorite bike manufacturer and see the amount of weight that it is off. It's probably like 50 grams. I'm willing to, to bet that. But that's what I'd probably recommend. Uh, like no matter what your skill level, and if you can't, sometimes you don't have a choice of the seat post, totally cool. But at least the bars, you know, that's the part that's taking a majority of the impact. If you do ever have the misfortune of falling over, I would go alloy. Now, carbon fiber is great, but you got to take care of it. And you have to just think about, you know, if you're packing the bike or bringing it on an airplane or something like that, just making sure that you're being very careful and padding all the correct things uh, when you box it and you're servicing the bottom bracket regularly because that can also overlies if you see some of the early specialized bikes. But overall, I think carbon fiber is a great material depending on the application and what kind of rider you are. You just wanna make sure that it's gonna fit that list of criteria for you and it's gonna provide the best ride. I mean, I mean both um, figuratively and, and literally. I mean, literally it, it rides really nice. Although people that ride titanium say it doesn't ride as comfortable as that. Um, but you know carbon fiber it's a very experimental material too so also just if a new bike comes out that is carbon fiber you might want to wait a little bit because you have seat post slips you have some frame defects it's an experimental uh, material so you want to make sure whatever frame you're buying is going to be good you know that um trek uh, domine that i had that design had actually been out for a couple of years and people had really liked it and it won you know bike of the year a couple of times although you know it could have been uh, influenced by other means people had done real reviews and said that even though it was an experimental frame when it first came out for the 2020 model year it was good and it worked really well and it was a comfortable ride and it did all those things it was the best complete bike i've ever owned honestly i love that bike so much um but you want to make sure it's going to suit all your needs um best frame uh, if it's experimental frame it's proven frame you want to make sure that it's good you can get parts for it and you want to make sure if it's a steerer um, everything is torque to spec everything is torque to spec on your carbon bike um, most importantly uh, don't run over it with a minivan I'd, I'd say that's hopefully that is a little bit implied but don't run over it with the minivan all right stay vegan guys peace out